Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Aditi B from Vivekananda Global University, Jaipur, is here to present my presentation on the topic types of footprint casting methods, a case study. So let's discuss about what is footprint. Footprint evidence can be defined as the effect or impression left behind by an individual strolling or running. It helps to build links between crime scenes and also help to find the type, size, and areas of specific wares on the shoes. Soil trap in so uh, soles can also give useful leads such as soil pH and the presence of pollen grains, which helps to find the culprit. Next, what do they tell? There are only 40% of the footprints in the crime scene which are usable, which can tell us the entry and exit point of the criminal, number of criminals and their direction of criminal and the direction of criminals. Then um, types of footprints. There are mainly two types of footprints. Uh, first one is uh, 3D footprints and second is the 2D. The main difference is that in uh, 3D footprints, the depth is addition to length and width. Uh, now let's discuss about the casting methods of the footprints. There are uh, four methods mainly. Uh, these two are used in soil and these two are used in uh, snow. In the main difference between POP casting and dendal casting is that dendal casting is more um, uh, strong and does not need any reinforcement and it can also be used under uh, underwater casting. The P, uh, then the method it is using is that uh, mix the POP and the den or the dental powder in a particular amount of water in a plastic bag, then pour it into the impression from any corner, then leave it for the setting. Then the material which we are used for casting should have the capability of producing clear defining cast should not get absorbed into the impression and has a, a, a last durability of shelf life. Now let's discuss about the casting in snow. Uh, there are mainly two melting, uh, melted sulfur casting and paraffin casting. And when it comes to 2D footprints, it is mainly divided into latent and patent. Patent is which is uh, visible and latent is which, which is not visible. Patent footprints can be uh, preserved by using photographical methods and latent by uh, developing it using fluorescent powders and examining under um, alternative light resources. 2D footprint casting can be done using micro seal and liquid silicone. Moving on to the next part, analysis of footprint as comparison. It is comparison, uh, the comparison is done by you know, using uh, main characteristics such as class characteristics and the individual characteristics. The class characteristics are the common things that is size, shapes, design, and mold characteristics. And the individual characteristics are the wear and tear marks such as cuts, cracks, embedded object uh, in unique or accidental or random. Under the coat of flow, we need minimum three individual characteristics to be matched with the uh, uh, evidence sample to the control sample. Next, coming to the uh, case study, it is a sexual assault in 10 by. Uh, here, a footwear mark was discovered by crime scene investigator, which was believed to belong to the offender. Police used footwear scanning equipments, which access to the national database containing almost 38,000 images of different classification of footwear prints. Uh, officer took the footwear analysis work on board and during local inquiries, spotted a pair of Freddy Perry trainers matching the description. While uh, this turned out not to be the actual part of sho shoes wore during the attack, it provided a substantial link to the suspect. Uh, however, the brand provided crucial role in this investigation. Then he was arrested soon after that. Uh, his name is A Andrew Edwin and his age is 30. Uh, he climbed through a window of a house, found the victim in her bed and uh, subjected her to a serious sexual assault uh, with the possession of a knife. Next, coming into the next case study, it is a laboratory case study we had researched on. Um, 
the case history is that in this case one dead body of an aged person was found in the farm as a case of loot and murder at spot having some partial blood stain pattern of the food uh, due to the norms i can i can't share any details of the names or the place so uh, coming into the examination partial imprint of the shoe uh, patterns made a complete shoe shape all the dimensions um, and special characteristics have been observed from the photo prints taken from the scene of crime when examined the shoe the engraved sole patterns was observed and initial measurements of the parameters were found similar therefore to compare to the image we developed ink patterns on white sheet by using a superimposition method computer based scanning was adopted for comparison for images and ink pattern Uh, it was observed that all the individual characteristics in both patterns were almost same which indicated the importance of physical evidence uh, hence it was proved that the control and evidence samples were similar uh, therefore i conclude my presentation here any inquiries mm -hmm.